Slow Blow has done a uh, soundtrack to three feature films in the past, uh, which have all been uh, directed by myself. So, so uh, when we were approached by Outnodly to do a soundtrack for Brain or Undercurrent, it was the first time that we made a soundtrack uh, for, a, for, a, for another uh, director. And, and that uh, was a lot of fun. Uh, the film is uh, sort of very realistic. It's about uh, f fisherman life in Iceland and, 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 and uh, uh, certain uh, circumstances at sea where like uh, the tension is uh, escalating and, and we quickly found out that the, the realistic part of the movie didn't really need scoring or, or when we tried to score the realistic part it was felt as if we were somehow cheating uh, so so we put most of our efforts into uh, scoring a, a certain element in the film which is uh, has to do with flashbacks where uh, like very strange and eerie things are happening in flashbacks and we wanted to sort of uh, use the music to to reinforce um, that aspect of the film it was a bit more difficult in a way that uh, we were now working with uh, like a complete final cut. But when we were working on those films, we sort of uh, the process takes longer. We can uh, start much earlier, like even before Dao starts shooting. We start talking about uh, where we want to go with the music. But now we just had our finished product and uh, had to work with that which uh, was challenging, challenging and uh, yeah, diff different. And then usually we, uh, we record to analog tape and, 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 and uh, we use all this uh, old instrument and old machinery to, to create our, our soundscape. But uh, in this case, since our, all our stuff was uh, in boxes, we had to sort of reinvent our, our Soundscape, and we used uh, different sounds, and we used more like electronic uh, uh, sounds, and we recorded uh, to a computer. For the first time, we had to have like a discussion with the <laughs> sound engineer, and, and, and we were like shocked when we said, "Yeah, yeah, um, please, you know, uh, raise the volume of that particular cue," and he would say, "No," and we had like never experienced that situation before. <laughs> so yeah, it was never going to experience it again. <laughs> No, but I think it was uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and it was very. I think it was very healthy for us to 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 do this, and and uh, we definitely would like to to do do more of it in the future. Yeah.